All right, the next one is uh, a lesser known feature of Google Maps. Most people use Google Maps and are pretty uh, familiar with it. You can always go to maps.google.com. You must have your location history turned on in your settings on your phone. But in Google Maps, click on the menu button in the top left. So go to Maps, click on the menu button, and then click on your timeline. It will say your timeline, and that's found under your places. So in here, I clicked on your places and then your timeline. And you'll be amazed if you haven't been tracking this over time, uh, all the data that is stored about you inside of Google Maps. I'll just go to maps.google.com. Uh, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. This is what it brings up about me. Okay, so I'm going to click the menu in the top left corner. And these are any contributions that I've made. For example, every once in a while, if I'm eating dinner by myself or eating lunch at a restaurant that I've never been to, for example, I might want to take a picture of one of their signs and then I might post it online. Or maybe I want to do a review, a Google review. Anytime you do anything like that, it's kept right here. Now, if you click on your timeline, so this is from my Gmail account. So. Absolutely 100%, I would recommend that you use your Gmail account for this feature. And then you can track all the different places you've been. So I clicked on the menu of Google Maps, went down to your timeline. And then what it's going to do is show all the different places you've been for as long as you've had location services turned on in your Google account. So any restaurant you've been to, any vacation you've taken, any place you've gone to, it shows it on a map of the United States, for example. If you went to a different uh, country, it will show you that as well. I See, I never thought I got out that much, but it says I've been to 1,059 different places. Um, most recently, I've been to Fruitport. I'll bet you most of you have never been to Fruitport, maybe. <laughs> or uh, the fact that it is near Muskegon. Location history is turned on. So you can see that there, I can manage my location history. I've got my work and home there and I can go to 1,059 places and it gives all these addresses. It even goes to the most visited, visited, and I can click right on the map and jump to a place uh, that I've been to recently. And it will tell me all the different places I've been to for each day. So I simply go into a date click it on the map or click a, uh, a date on the calendar here. So I might go to uh, July of 2018. And this is where I went July of 2018. And I can relive that from three years ago. Uh, I can click this little graph here and it will bring up, when I click this, it will show me all these different points. And that's every time I went somewhere using Google Maps. So I just click and then click on that little bar in the bar chart, and it will show exactly what I did that day in the form of a path. And I could add a drawing to the map if I want to, but it gives all the miles that I covered that day. And if I had Google Maps turned on on my phone, if I'm taking a bike ride, it would show me what bike ride I took and outline it like that. So pretty cool. Every once in a while, I can find a, a definite use for that, like what what restaurant we went to or where were we or what was the address of that place we went to. That is the timeline found inside of Google Maps. Okay, so you see that it doesn't seem to work very well at all in your district account. Uh, so you probably wanna use that one from within your home account, absolutely. Okay, so that's the Google Maps timeline.